So welcome everyone to another key productive video. Today we'll be exploring Notion versus Dropbox Paper versus Evernote Teams. Now for this video, we've partnered with leading software comparison site Captera to help you to make informed decisions on what software to choose. Now you can use Captera's wide variety of insights and reviews to help you improve your decision making. It's fantastic to have them on as a sponsor and I recommend checking out the resource below. There'll be a link to these three tools, how they stack up against each other. In today's video, I'm bringing together my own knowledge for this review, so let's dive in. So as we start with all of these versus comparisons, I start with availability. What devices are all of these applications available on? Now to start up, Notion is available on all devices, which means it's pretty cross-platform. You can use it for on web, to Mac, to desktop, on Windows, and also on iOS and Android devices. Evernote Teams is much the same. You can access Evernote pretty much on every device, but Dropbox Paper is the outlier. You can use Dropbox Paper on web or mobile, including the likes of Android and iOS. Although you can install Dropbox itself on your other devices, using Dropbox Paper can only be used through these applications. Okay, so let's take a look at pricing. Now, the pricing varies for these applications, but let's see how they stack up. So Notion is a free application. It does come with unlimited blocks as part of the personal plan. However, for Teams, you're looking at $8 per user per month. Teams allows unlimited guests as well as uh, allows you access to adding members and collaborators to each of your pages. Dropbox Paper is actually free to use. They don't actually have any pricing for Dropbox Paper and you can store it as long as you've got a Dropbox account. However, if you did want to upgrade to Dropbox to allow your file storage to be there together with Dropbox Paper, then it's going to cost you $15 per user per month. But do remember, this is more of a cloud storage platform. So if you had five users, it'd be $62.50 per month or £750 per year for five users. Now remember, like most situations, annual pricing tends to be cheaper with savings between 10 to 20% on average. So Evernote Teams actually comes in at the more expensive solution at $14.99 per month, but that's per user and you have to have a two user minimum for the account. So to summarize, Notion is free with an $8 upgrade per user per team member. Dropbox Paper is free to use. And if you want a Dropbox account, you can have $15 per user per month. And Evernote Teams is $15 per user per month with a minimum of two users. Okay, so let's zoom in on features. Now let's start with Notion. Notion has become pretty popular in space because it combines the likes of a wiki workspace intranet with project management. Now, in my opinion, Notion is probably the best value package out of all of these solutions because it combines the ability to manage projects with others. The others do that, but only uh, in a slight manner in which I'll explain in feature in more detail. However, what I'd say is Dropbox Paper and Evernote Teams do not take as much education to learn and master Notion, whilst Notion does take that bigger leap in uh, preparing yourself and managing it as an organization. However, sometimes that investment can reap reward as organization for your team. Now, looking at Dropbox Paper, I think of this more of as an advanced Google Documents. It has some basic project management, like the ability to create a timeline, but the real focus is on collaboration around a document, whether that's your meeting notes or a, a project plan or anything like that. But you can collaborate in real time, even adding tasks for each other with due dates, as well as comments, threads, and lots of multimedia. Evernote Teams is the least interactive of all of these, but it does allow you to organize your notes, collaborate on projects, and now more recently be able to manage tasks and meetings and your calendar in one location. And they have a great host of templates to kick you off too. You can collaborate on documents, but it's much less real-time collaboration than the likes of Notion and Dropbox Paper. 
Okay, let's zoom in to the most recommended. Now, what I would say is Notion is best for those who are already sold on the wiki experience. Intranets are obviously a thing that's been around for a while, but being able to manage and collaborate on your own intranet alongside project management is something that's fairly new, so I think you have to be sold on the concept before you begin. But in my opinion, this application is probably the best value out of these all and covers both real-time collaboration, project management, and being able to have a static wiki for your team in one location. Just remember, there is a little bit of education time and build time to get your perfect setup. Now, Dropbox Paper is really best for those wanting an alternative to Google Docs or Google Drive. If you're already a Dropbox user, it's a good add-on experience. However, if you really want to make the most out of Dropbox Paper, you truly need Dropbox because it really does extend your file storage and be able to connect those two platforms together. Now Evernote Teams is really best for those who take traditional notes inside of a team. Things like meeting notes, project plans, checklists and things that are more static that your team can have access to at any given time. You can collaborate on projects and start meeting notes with a calendar event more recently and also add tasks but really it's much more static than both Notion and Dropbox Paper in its use case. So folks, hopefully that was a good summary of these applications. Thank you very much to Captera for sponsoring today's feature. You can check them out in the description below with all of these resources if you want a deeper dive against them. So one recommendation is to go on to Captera and to look at the features in much more depth than we have in here. Um, there's a great resource where you can see and see other people's reviews and comparisons. So you can get a really in, a better insight on uh, how they used it in their context, in their team. Uh, so I'd highly recommend checking that out.